Hello everyone, I am Ron and I am the Game Design Instructor for the Academy of Entertainment Arts over at Dixie Hollins High School. If you are one of my students, it's Mr. Flowers to you, and welcome to this video tutorial. Alright, so here we are, we have our characters set up and we have our controls we made. I went ahead and made my left and right, that way you could see everything. And they do work, if I grab my left or right or whichever and just grab it, it does work. Okay, so the next control we're going to make is going to be the hip control. We're going to leave the hand control um, for like the fingers and stuff. We're going to leave that alone for like later because it's a lot of work. Um, and we can get through most of our animation without having the hand actually functional. We can always do it later. So for now, let's just make another curve that we can use for our hip. So I'm going to drop one on the ground here. And... There we go, there's my curve. I'm going to call this hip control. And I'm just going to snap this to my hip joint, or my pelvis joint, actually. So, there we go. So that center joint there. And that should work good and center. We're going to do. Oh, go ahead and clear these first. So, modify, freeze transforms. Select your hip control, and then go ahead and select this um, hip joint here, the uh, pelvis joint. Then go up to constrain. Make sure you're in rigging. We're going to do a point constraint, and then we'll do an orient constraint. So point and orient. So now when we grab this control, we should be able to move the hips and kind of jump there. And we can turn him. That seems to be working. And the last thing we're going to do for this rig so far is uh, doing a spine control. This is going to be a little bit interesting, but it's pretty fun. So again, we're going to need some sort of curve. I'm going to draw one out. So I'm going to grab my little drawing curve tool. And I'm going to jump into a side view. And I will draw something that will represent my spine. So I guess since my spine does this S curve, I guess I'll follow that. So I'll just draw my little spine curve. That'll work. And I'm going to call this uh, spine control. And I will group it, so control G. We're going to call this spine control group. Now I select my spine control, and I'm going to bring up its pivot point. It's actually on the ground here. See it? You can press insert, and we're going to bring this up, and we're going to snap this. Not to the not to the um, pelvis, but to the one just above it. So this would be spine one. I'm going to hold uh, V. And I'm going to snap this. Oops. Make sure you hit insert so you can move this. And then hold down the V key and snap it to there. Just make sure it is on that joint. Yep. Because that's the one we're going to influence. All right. And with that, we are now going to set up a relationship between this curve and these three joints here, or these two joints. So whenever this spine piece moves, the body's going to move too. To do that, we need a relationship editor. So with our curve selected, uh, go up to Window, and then General Editors and Connection Editor. And this looks a little bit like our set driven key editor, but it's uh, a little bit different. On the left side here, we happen to have our spine curve. You can see that spine control. And if I click on this joint over here, and then I hit reload right, you can see now we have spine one is inside of my right. 
and we're going to create a relationship between the rotation value of this spine curve and the rotation value of the spine itself. So I'm going to scroll down to my rotations. Uh, da, 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 rotate, right here. So you can see we have translate, rotate, and then scale. So right here we have rotate. Just go ahead and click on that. And then over in spine, I'm going to scroll down to rotate and click on that. And you can see that they create a relationship here. And if I select my curve now and I go to rotate it, the spine rotates with it. Okay. I'm going to do this at the next joint. So I'm going to select this middle joint here. So this should be spine 2. Oops. There we go. I'm going to hit reload right. And if I scroll up, you can see that spine 2 is now selected. And I will scroll down to my rotate. You can see that one's influenced. And if I bend my curve now, so I grab that, bring up rotation, and I rotate, you'll see that the chest and the uh, lower spine bend. Okay, so now we have that where you can kind of lurch forward and we can have it where you can kind of bend back. It isn't necessary to do the next joint up. You can if you want, but just these two joints should be plenty to handle the uh, rotation of the upper and lower chest. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this now. All right, so the next thing we want to do is uh, take our spine group here and parent it to the uh, pelvis joint. So to grab the group, I'm going to open up my two view, come down to here, bring up our hypergraph, and then inside of here, you should see your spine uh, and the spine group. If you don't see it, just make sure you have the spine selected and then hit F in the window here. And it'll frame up. Go ahead and select the spine control group and then select the pelvis and then hit the P key. So now whenever we move, go back in the main view here, whenever we move, the spine should come with us and we should be able to still move up and down. Okay. Make sure all my controls are zeroed out. And that should pretty much do it for the majority of the rig. In the next video, we're going to set up the uh, main control for the rig. And we might put in uh, a basic head control and finish up the hand. But this is pretty much ready to do some basic animations on. Um, go ahead and save your work, and I will see you guys next time.